Hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Express and Star, Wolves feature columnist and former press officer, Mr. Paul Berry. Paul, what a game. What a game. Southampton 1, Wolves 2. Can you put into words what we've just seen? It's astonishing. It's difficult, isn't it? I think it was a crazy game. As Julian Lopetegui just said, wasn't it? Half time, the discussion was very different to what it's like at full time. Um, but they stuck with it, didn't they? Yeah. I think the vulnerabilities of Southampton, Wolves kept going the second half, kept attacking, didn't kind of sit back and just try and on the break, kept trying to get forward and ultimately, you know, got the reward in the end with a fantastic result again. I mean, I don't know what the referee had been drinking before the game, but it was just constant bookings. We said even before the sending off, even that, that he was he was looking at situations and there were certain fouls, especially early in the game, where you think you just let them go. But he created he created basically a snowball effect, and to send Lamina off that second booking was just astonishing for aggressively advancing towards the referee. I think is what we've been told. I mean, have you ever been in football a while? Have you heard that before? Not really, no. And especially as he was the third one in the line of sort of going up to the referee, yeah. wasn't it? There's never there's Moutinho in front of him so why why he's the one that gets picked and he's already been booked, oh, but he booked but, as well uh, yeah so it's uh I think the ref needs to be a bit calm in that situation. He knows what's happening. He seems to be very quick to reach for the card. Almost yeah. like he wanted to try and keep 11 men on the pitch. Don't try and send somebody off. But I think you're right. It didn't feel first half. It was hard for, but it didn't feel like a game. It didn't feel nasty six, game, or seven, did it? six or seven bookings. I mean, that's you know, there's rules to follow, but you've sometimes got a referee with a bit of common sense. And yeah. I don't, think I don't think booked anyone in the second half. So whether no. someone had a word at half time or he real because there was a lot of fouls in the second half. Same as the first. So it would have been bookings, exactly. wouldn't it? Yeah. So he's, I think you just said he, the early one for the mean, which might have been a yellow. You did catch him, but it kind of some of those just created a rough of his own back. Absolutely, look, he gets booed off. Um, Julian Lockerbie has obviously had words at half time, he's got them going, he's made changes, and even with 10 men, they've dominated possession, and that is as good a comeback as I think I've seen at Wolves. It's absolutely brilliant, sensational. And I think you've said it there, I think his substitutions again made a huge difference in their true array. Managed to get up, get up the pitch, you know, with 10 men, he makes such a difference. I think Diego Costa probably had one of his best yeah. cameos in a Wolves shirt. They were both involved with second goal. Uh, and then Gomez obviously popping up right his own scripts at the end so I think again every substitute there seems to be seems to be happening doesn't it frequently with a new yeah. manager every substitute made a really positive impact and it's that you're right what you say Paul it's not just a knack it's not lucky these are these are smart decisions I mean we saw the bench today it was obviously very very strong but we can't predict how they're going to play what formation what 11 he's going to pick what bench he's going to have how his, how his subs are going to come out on so and I feel like there was probably some predictability in past regime so the fact that he's changed up and you know even at, even at one nil you could sense the tension in this at, in, 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 in the atmosphere in this stadium and they took full advantage didn't they? They did. I think we were saying it weren't we? If we get to an hour, 65, 70 minutes, Southampton are one nil up. They're gonna they're gonna get nervous. They're gonna get worried. Uh, that's kind of what happened. Put a bit of pressure on them. And obviously I think Jose Sar made another massive save. Same week in a row I think made that's a, a really crucial down. save. Absolutely two nil. Probably game over. Yeah. Um, and like you say they took full advantage of it. Kept going. You could see Southampton creaking quite a lot and just took full advantage to come back and, and I think you're right, you know, they've got his character and his personality, his belief as well. They like kind of you could feel that they, they knew there was something in that game. We, we, we all know about the love story that is Jao, free Jao Gomez uh, to come on on debut off the bench and score a winner and what a run it was. I mean that is literally it's beyond dreams, isn't it? Is, it? it is, yeah I think Southampton need to lock him up down there rather than free him. But they gave him <laughs> gave him a lot of space and he took advantage and the ball came back to him Bed Bednarek who's you know, had a pretty pretty lousy afternoon in the end through no fault of his own to a degree. Agent, with that. Agent Bednar, Agent Bednar Bednar nearly came, nearly came, didn't exactly he? Exactly, with that you know, very, un well, I don't know if it's unfortunate, and goal, he couldn't get, his, couldn't get his feet right, could he? But no, and, but I think the thing with Gomez, when the ball came back to him, it just fills from a pit. He was so calm, just yeah. slotted into the corner, there was no panic. And almost, I think, Wolves, the second half, the complete opposite. So, Amsterdam were panicking, they were nervous, they were, you know, they were on the back foot, whereas Wolves just kept, like you say, kept going. Uh, 20 minutes to go, the game was still alive and got the two goals. Pedro Neto's not, not got on today. Well, I say he's not got on, he's on the bench, but he's ran 150 yards across to the okay. corner flag to celebrate. I don't know whether he got booked or not, no one cared. But it was one of those moments, it was an I was there moment from the fans. They haven't had a lot to shout yeah. about this season. They've had a lot of misery. They've got a manager who they adore. They've got a team who have, you, you think, got their mojo back. And there's just a unity, it feels like a unity now. And you look at that table tonight, you look at not just, you know, about the comeback win, but obviously keep Southampton are rock yeah. bottom. There's a gap now forming between those bottom three. They should be all right, shouldn't they? Born at home to come next week. I think so. Yeah, I mean, no, no easy games as we've seen this afternoon. But I think you're right. I think we all kind of there's that feeling now that they should be all right. And the, and the reality is that they're doing it on the pitch as well. They're getting the results to show that. I think even a point, especially with ten men yeah. today, would have been a decent result. They kept 
Adams are down there. But yeah, there's just a, you just sense the purpose. I mean, again, I think you said in the second half, you could see the, the belief within them all. They've got the character, they know how they're playing, they know how to play in different situations. They've got quality to come off the bench, as we again see this afternoon. So it certainly feels like they're going to be okay. And I think the manager's not going to let up, is he, until they keep getting points, keep that gap building, and then you can start to almost, well, I'm sure you won't relax, but you can start to breathe a bit easier, start to think perhaps about next season and all that stuff. But yeah, one step at a time, but they're certainly looking very good at the moment. Uh, most important question I think of the afternoon is yeah. um, can we get rid of this Liam Keane guy? Can you come every week? Can you come so, to Bournemouth? Yeah. yeah, I think at half time he was probably uh, going to get the going to get the train up there, wasn't he? But yeah, I'm uh, ready, free and available. Love mate, it, for love it. Transfer window if it's if it can open up again. But no, really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was great. And obviously the result makes, uh, makes all the difference. Amazing. It's a good place to come, St Mary. Southampton 1 Wolves 2 for all the post-match reaction. Make sure you log on to expressandstar.com.